What I've got on the bench today is my brand new Steel MS661CM. My personal saw. And I'm in love. I was actually looking at the 461 because I was looking for something a little lighter, but uh, you know, the job kind of fell in my lap today of something that needs this that I'll be doing tomorrow morning. So I went right to the store and uh, picked this guy up. Of course, from uh, my local saw shop, uh, Arts Lawn Board here in Florida. And this thing's a beauty. It's not touched wood yet. I've started her twice. You know, once at the shop, just PDIing it, and then uh, once for my buddy Lon over at his house. No tanks run through this yet. This is 91.1 cc engine. The powerhead weighs 16.31 pounds, puts out 7.2 horsepower, which gives us a power to weight ratio of 0.4414 horsepower per pound. Beast to it. Of course, that's only the powerhead. So not including the uh, bar and chain, which uh, on these saws is pretty freaking heavy, you know. Uh, I got a 36 on this right now. This is the standard bar and chain. Uh, I was kind of wanting the uh, Rollomatic ES light bar. Uh, they didn't have one in stock, so I went ahead with the standard. Uh, this is your standard 3 8 063 gauge chain. I will be putting some uh, chipper chain on here, but uh, they didn't have any stock. Uh, I actually ordered some for my uh, 201T. I'm going to play around with uh, a couple of different chain styles for it here in a little bit. So I will be switching to a uh, square ground. I uh, currently just have on uh, your standard round ground. But uh, as I said, this is a 36 inch bar. Uh, we'll take anything you know smaller than this uh, without a problem. Also, if you're wanting to, you can convert this over a uh, different chain bar and sprocket uh, to 404 pitch. So there is always that option if you're wanting to do that. But, you know, we run a 660 at work pretty regularly, so pretty familiar with it. Uh, this is a little bit different style. Uh, this is the Mtronic. That's the uh, biggest difference between the 660 and the 661. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, the Mtronic is a uh, microprocessor in there which controls the carburetor and also spark timing. Uh, so it takes into account fuel quality, air temperature, uh, differential pressure on the air filter, and adjusts the uh, mixture as needed. This thing is. Just so fucking sexy. Love it. Can't wait to uh, do some cutting with it tomorrow. Anyway, let's take a closer look, yeah? Also on this saw, they uh, did other differences as well from the 660. This has a different uh, AV system on here, so you're going to get uh, good anti-vibe. Also, a stratified engine, so you're running more fuel efficiently. 20% uh, is what they say. Looking at it from the side, we've got uh, your standard two-post chain brake, uh, aluminum handle. We do have a elasto start handle, so it has some play in there in case you uh, go to pull on a, a compression stroke and aren't ready for it. You're not going to break your arm, it'll give a little bit. Got your black felling sight right here. I was reading up on this and it said uh, plunge cut guide and in nowhere it really explained it, but that's actually what this black line is. So that's going to be parallel to your bar, so you can use that for your plunging and uh, just as a reference guide to let you know where your bar is in the wood. All right, basics, bar and chain oil up here, fuel and oil mixture back here. On this one, I didn't really know what these two threaded holes were. And sure enough, I read the manual, like uh, you should do, and found out these are actually mounting brackets for a uh, accessory that is a cover that goes over the bottom part. It says uh, for use in, uh, you know, 14 degree Fahrenheit weather or below. Uh, it's actually like a snow guard to uh, prevent the machine from pulling in uh, snow drift and whatnot into the uh, air filter. If you've already run Mtronics or if you've watched my uh, 201T Mtronic or 261 video, this will be familiar. But if you're not familiar, it's a three position switch as opposed to a four position, which is what most people are used to. Uh, on this one, up is your off, but uh, unlike the four position, it returns back to run when you uh, kill it. And then just like a choke on the others, you uh, hit the gas, come down, release the gas. That's your start position. It's uh, a choke and also lets the uh, microprocessor know that you're going to start the machine. Nice thing about the uh, Mtronic is it uh, detects uh, air temperature and engine temperature and can adjust your starts as necessary. So whether it's a cold start or you've already been running your saw, you can just drop it into that setting and it's going to start for you easily. Up on top here, we've got Magnum. Whoa which uh, doesn't actually mean anything. Magnum is just a label they put on some of their more powerful units. Nothing special about Magnum units, uh, their backpack blowers or their chainsaws. Just means it's a bit bigger and powerful. This is actually the uh, retaining for the cover. So that's how you take the cover off. 
You got a uh, filling sight here and decompression lever there, which can come in handy on saws this size, unlike the 260 one, which it's useless on. Coming over to this side, this unit does have capture nuts, so that's always a nice feature. And uh, two sets of bar spikes with uh, ridiculously thick dogs on these. These things aren't going to wear out anytime soon. So that's definitely nice to have. On this one, you actually have a redesigned, I hadn't seen this before today, uh, chain catch, in case you uh, pop a chain. Uh, so that's a, kind of a more robust style than what you often see, just the uh, aluminum tab running right here. So that's pretty nice. You know, I've not broken a chain yet, but when I do, as everyone has, it'd be nice to have in case it comes back at you. And of course, you got your extended chip deflector right there. Keep chips from flying on you instead of deflects them down. Another felling sight right here. On the bottom, you do have uh, an adjustable oiler on this unit, and this is it right here. Concerning this uh, adjustable oiler, I uh, was reading some comments in the forums, uh, people bitching about it not really being a high output oiler like it is advertised. Uh, if you go in the steel website and read the literature, it uh, specifically says it has a uh, high output oiler. But if you read the manual, which uh, I know is something that many people don't like to do, you'll read that it's uh, a little bit different than that and to adjust it into that high output setting takes a little more than just simply rotating that uh, set screw. All right, so not really sure just how well you can see down in there, but you do have your uh, standard set screw that you have on all your adjustable oiler machines, which you rotate to adjust the uh, oil flow. On this one, there is an additional pin that has to be pressed down to get into that high output range. You can't just turn it, it's got to stop in there. So it'll just stop at uh, wherever that setting is. Let's dig a little deeper. I have yet to take off the side cover on this machine. As with all of your pro models, this is a magnesium frame, magnesium side cover. So take out the side panel, pretty basic in there. It's got a chip deflector here, two replaceable wear pads, uh, the capture nuts. All right, inside the side cover, you can see it's uh, pretty basic as to most other chainsaws. We do have a uh, rim sprocket set up here on the clutch, your chain tension adjuster, your chain tensioner peg, two butter studs. Assuming this is a uh, anti-vibe mount, that is correct. Over on front, and of course, as with every new saw, exhaust is all restricted. I'll be opening that up over time but uh, not just yet. All right, turning to the back, we have a uh, quick access to the air filter. Also something new on this model is this rubber uh, cover. Keeps a uh, larger debris from uh, getting into your air filter, so it seals it a bit better. Also on your air filter cover is the cold weather shutter. Uh, that's located right here. Right here it's in summer mode. To go to winter mode, you slide this plastic piece out. You reinstall it right here in the bottom in those tabs. It'll slide right in. And that's your cold weather operation. And again, this is your warm weather operation. All right, we do have pleated paper air filter. Of course, on all of your higher quality saws, it's going to be this. Your pro saws and whatnot, you get more surface area. Uh, so you get more uh, filtration and can get more clogged before you need to replace it because it has a larger surface area. You can see the uh, redesigned AV mount, it's one right there, uh, similar to uh, what's on my 201T. Definitely will be appreciated on this machine. I think uh, there's a little bit too much uh, play in the uh, 201T. I'd rather have it be a bit stiffer, but on something this size, definitely want a lot of play in that AV system. Take the cover off here. All right, so taking the cover off, again you can see the newly uh, designed AV system, pretty robust there. Not sure if you can see in the video, but there's actually a cable running on the inside of that spring, I'm assuming for, to keep it from pulling apart. Uh, you've got your decompression valve right here, uh, obviously your spark plug, uh, your, I well, don't know what that is. Not really sure uh, what this rubber piece is for, I'm thinking it's just uh, like a vibration mount goes on the cover. There's actually uh, a little rubber nub here on the cover as well. I'm guessing it sits uh, maybe right up against the cylinder. Coming over here, nothing groundbreaking. Pretty big flywheel. See down in there. Not much else to say about it. Just a big saw. But put it back together and go cut tomorrow morning. See how she does. <laughs>
my uh, two-day-old 661 before I uh, cut the notes about the high output oiler. Uh, for that pin you have to depress to access the high output settings. In the manual it says use a suitable tool. I'm going to let you know I found that suitable tool to be a small punch and a small ball peen hammer. I tried just pressing it in and it wasn't happening. So I mean I wasn't beating on it but you just got to tap it in it just stays in that. So you have access, you can push that in to that high output setting. It just is uh, always accessible at that point. Just want to give you a heads up. Sexy beast is what she is. Oh, 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 yeah. Lovely baby. Just gotta figure out what to name her. 
Anyway, have a good one, humans.